right? So we're making it happen over here at Titan America, right in Rockland, California, cutting some Inconel 625, an aerospace grade super alloy, and we just ran it on the VF2. We started cutting into it with some new Emco end mills. These things are revolutionary. While I'm programming the second operation, the fifth axis operation, I got Dana in the tool crib. He's getting all the tools ready that I have previously planned out. Let's finish the first stop on the Inconel. Cut beautiful. Titan took that roughing end mill to the extreme, 70 inches a minute. I, ne I didn't think it would hold up and it ran it, cut it like butter. If I could get all my Inconel jobs running that good, it wouldn't be so bad. I wouldn't mind running the stuff. Even the Imco uh, finishing end mills left a beautiful finish on here. No chat or anything. It's a really good looking part. I like it. I put it in my car. I've got my tools set up for the second op. We're going to get it set up and deck this excess material off the back, cut the part to size, call it a day. He's going to zero all the tools out, make sure that everything's ready to go. We're gonna get some aluminum soft jaws into the vise to hold this part. So I have our special fixturing cut. Now I had to take aluminum jaws to hold the part nice and deep, perfectly on all surfaces, except for this end of it, because I need clearance to cut the thread. So I'm gonna have it, as you can see, hanging out of the vise a little bit so that tools won't hit the jaws when it flips up to cut the thread. I looked at the shift lever that Jason had, and it was a cheap aluminum part that actually had a steel insert embedded into the aluminum, and that is really weak. The way we're doing it, we're making it so this whole thing is indestructible. He can get on it, ride hard and fast, and do whatever he has to do in that race, keeping himself safe, and this shift lever will not yield at all. When we cut the first side, we were in a three axis machine. This machine, the five axis, has two extras. The table rotates and flips up and down, which will enable us to, to flip up and do that thread. I've got tooling already set up. I'm ready to run the programs in it, and we're gonna go ahead and cut apart. All right, so here we have the Autodesk Inventor, the HSM for high speed machining, because that's what we do. We got the other side ready to go. That's your hat. That is exactly what we held on to on the other side. So now we're flipping it over. We're going to rotate it. I'm going to run my simulation, make sure everything is absolutely good. Then we're going to cut off the hat. I'll actually take a few different passes to get this done. We did the honeycomb, so the honeycomb now is being deburred all the way through, putting a little chamfer and edge break all the way around. And now we are flipping it up on end and making these threads right here. So you can't see the threads right now. You can just, all I'm doing is watching, making sure the tool doesn't crash into the part. And then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click show transparent. And then I can see the threads going right into the part right there. Everything looks good. So what would have taken three operations to do, we're gonna do two operations. One in the BF2, which we already finished. Now on the five axis, and we're gonna finish this part. This part is awesome at Titan Brock. We got it all assembled. We just installed the shifter on the transmission. I had to adjust the rods to get the shifters all lined up perfect so he knows where the neutral is. Now all we gotta do is put it in the car. So we'll slide it in through the boot. Get it all bolted together and we'll be ready to rock. You got this. There you go, see, like a glove. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What's up, my kid?